In our following problem, we're going to create a Venn diagram from given information. A winter resort took a poll of its 350 visitors to see which winter activities people enjoyed. The results were as follows. 178 liked to ski, 154 liked to snowboard, 57 liked to ice skate, 49 liked to ski and snowboard, 15 liked to ski and ice skate, 2 liked to snowboard and ice skate, and 2 liked all three activities. We want to use a Venn diagram to illustrate the survey's results. Now, in order to create a Venn diagram, we notice we're going to have three different sets. We'll have the set of people who like to ski, the set who like to snowboard, the set who like to ice skate. But in order to create a Venn diagram, we're going to have to know where the intersections are going to have in them. So let's start by listing the cardinality of our sets. Let's just run through the list. We have a winter resort took a poll of 350 visitors. We can say that that is our universal set. So we're going to have the cardinality of the universal set equal to 350. We have 178 like to ski. So the number in the set who like to ski is going to be 178. 154 like to snowboard. The number who like to snowboard, just use SB for that, is equal to 154. 57 like to ice skate. So we'll have the number who liked the ice skating, let's we'll call it ice, equals 57. 49 like to ski and snowboard. Now because we're connecting these with an and statement, this means we're looking at the intersection of these two sets. So we're going to list the number who are in the intersection of the set containing those people who like to ski and the set of snowboarders equals 49. 15 like to ski and ice skate. So the number in the intersection of the sets where we have skiing and ice skating equals 15. 2 like to snowboard and ice skate. So the number in the intersection of snowboarding and ice skating equals 2. And 2 liked all three activities. That's going to be the intersection of all three sets. That's the number in ski, intersected with snowboard, intersected with ice skating. And that equals 2. Now let's use these cardinalities to create our own Venn diagram. So we'll start off by quickly sketching out a rectangle. And we have three sets. And our set to the left, we're going to call the set of skiers. The set to the upper right, we're going to call snowboarders. And the set at the bottom, we're going to call ice skaters. And this is all part of the universal set. Now, to fill in this quick sketch, we're going to go back and start with the set where all three are intersecting. We have two as the cardinality there, so we'll fill in the number two. We're going to work our way back on this list going backwards. We'll have the intersection of snowboarders and ice skaters, and there are two in that intersection. Well, here's snowboarding, here's ice skating. The intersection would have these two regions in it. We already have those two accounted for, so there are zero in the other region. The number in the intersection of skiing and ice skating is 15. Here's skiing, here's ice skating. Our intersection would be here. We have two already accounted for, so 13 more to give us 15 altogether. We have the intersection of skiing and snowboarding. We should have 49 in that intersection. That would be these two regions together. Two are already accounted for. That leaves 47 to give us 49 altogether. Now, we need to move on to the number who like to ice skate. We had 57 in that group. We have, in this circle, 15 already accounted for. So that leaves 42 for the last region. What we're doing is subtracting 15 from that total. We'll continue in that manner. The number who liked to snowboard, we had 154. That would be this circle. We notice that we have 40, 
7 plus 2, that would be 49 already accounted for. 154 minus 49 is going to give us 105. We have the number who like to ski as 178. We need to have the total in this circle equal to 178. If we add together the 47 and the 13, that gives us 60, plus 2 is 62. If we subtract 62 from 178, we have 116. Now, finally, we notice that in our universal set, we have 350. So let's count up how many we've already taken care of. If we add together 116, 47, 105, 13, 2, and 42, we end up with 325. That leaves 25 left over for the region outside of the three circles. Now let's see how we can use the Venn diagram that we just created in order to answer some questions. Recall that we have our three sets and we have the cardinalities of those sets indicated in our Venn diagram. We want to use the Venn diagram to determine how many of those surveyed enjoyed a number of different things. A first one we'll be looking at is how many enjoyed exactly one of these activities. Now where would that be in this diagram? Well, exactly one activity. That would be in the section where we have, for instance, in our first circle, we have 116 people who would have answered the survey by saying that they like to ski, but they did not like to snowboard and did not like to ice skate. So we're looking at the region that does not have any overlap with the other sets. So that's going to be 116 people. We also notice that we could take the number who answered that for snowboarding, 105, and the number who answered they liked ice skating only, 42. So we're going to take these three regions and add together those numbers. That is, we're going to have 116 plus 105 plus 42. That totals 263. So that would be the result of Part B. Part C. How many enjoyed none of these activities? Well, in order to say that they enjoyed none of those, that means that it would not be included in any of the three circles. That's going to end up giving us this region that is outside of all three circles, and that answer would be 25. How many enjoyed at least two of these activities? Now, to enjoy at least two means they enjoyed either two or three. To enjoy only two would mean that they would be in an intersection of two of the sets, not including the middle region. That would be the 13, the 47, and here we see the zero. But we also want to allow for them to enjoy all three. So we're going to take our 13, 47, and 2 and add those together, giving us a total of 62. Our next question deals with how many enjoyed snowboarding and ice skating but not skiing. So we want an intersection of the two sets, one for snowboarding, one for ice skating. We do not want to allow for skiing to be part of that. Snowboarding and ice skating intersect here, but we want to disallow the section where they also include those who like to ski. Well, notice that that answer would be zero. How about this, snowboarding or ice skating, but not skiing? Now that's a little bit different. We were looking at the intersection with and, we're looking at the union with or. Snowboarding or ice skating means that we could have either in this section or in this section, but we do not want to allow skiing, meaning we'll have to take these out. So we're going to have 105 plus 42. Giving us a total of 147. And our last question, how many surveyed stated that they enjoyed only skiing? That would be in the section, which is in the circle for skiing, but does not include any of the overlap. So we're going to have 116 answering in that manner.